<laughs> Come on, man. Is that how we go fishing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're here to get a raft. This guy, these guys. <laughs> they got only a few toys, just a few. Well, and right over the stingray, the halo raft. Seal team six. This is what we're taking out to the great ocean. Uh, actually, the bay. So it's been how long since you started? Five years. Five years. And it's, I don't even think this motor's got an hour on it. <laughs> really? Yep. I guarantee it. So it's pretty much brand new. Oh, dude! On a second try. That's, that's a good sign. We are here in Northern California in search for horse neck clams down by the Bay Area. I love this place for trout fishing and going down to the Bay to have a great old time with my boy Brandon and Vato. I'm Josh, your host for Texas Jungle and welcome to Texas Jungle Beyond Borders. For the horse neck clamps. Seal Team 6 over here. It's been about five years, I think, since this thing's been out. It's just a blow up raft with a 20 horse on it. Yeah, so this is the Bay Area, smallest bay. We're working the low tide right now to go get some horse neck clams. I've done this once two years ago with these guys and we, I think we hit our limit last time. We're allowed 10 each. I think we're gonna do a little catch and cook over here on the shore. We're just gonna dig out to these clams and make a little ceviche, a little calamari out of it. And just enjoy our day here cocktails it's a little bit chilly I would say maybe 50 degrees you say Brandon nice and cool but the sun feels good Let's see what we can do there she is sir do you have a license for that shovel I know speaking no speaking nothing you have to jump you have to jump for it Come on in. I'm in. Come on. Back at it again. Clam it with Vato and Brandon. Is it salty? A little salty. <laughs> so these mountains right here have elk on them. They're called Thule elk. Here's what we're looking for. We're looking for holes in the sand, spitting out, shooting out fluid, coming out of it. And it's probably about two feet down in the sand. All right, these guys already started on the clamps. Once you determine where the clams are, 
you shove a rod down the hole gently as to push down the clams all the way to their shell. Then you start digging right alongside as though you're digging a wall right next to them. Yeah, grab it. I got three and one weird looking shrimp something. I had legs on it and long tail. I got my hand on that. Dig me out this right here. I got. I can. I can keep wiggling my hand underneath it. I ah, almost got it. We're too close to the hook. Yeah. Got him. Good one. This sticks right here. I feel the head. Good one. Yeah, I can't feel the shell yet. Good job, Yeah, Brandon. that's the hardest one we had to work Good for job. right there. Yeah, let all that collapse. There's another one right here. He's just... A good three out of this one. Nice work, Brandon. Here you go, that's what you want. Horse neck clamps. Push it, wiggle your. Oh, you got it. Yeah, we got number three right there, right? That's what they look like right here. Horse necks. Got it? Limited. Oh. They said I need another shovel pull out there. Limits? Yeah. Not bad. Not even an hour, maybe an hour? Yeah. some up and have lunch have, have a cocktail well once again these fellas deliver limit and I think just about an hour or so
barely had to, barely had to walk anywhere. It's all right here. All of our limits right there. That's a beautiful thing, huh? Well, that was fast. We're going to eat now. Time to get comfortable. How come you usually uh, bummed out whenever you bust one? You oh, because when you, these are sharp. So usually when you bust them, when you're while you're digging you them, yourself. you'll end up cutting yourself. When I like right feel that thing, that thing's like a razor. That is a razor. There's a skin on the outer part of this. Like a membrane or something? Yep, like a membrane on yep. the outer part. What we do is you put them in ice and fresh water, let them sit for a little while, then this will peel. You can peel that membrane off and you're left with white meat. Make ourselves a couple cocktails here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beachside. Yeah. Can you really have too much in there though? Uh, I'm, well, we'll find out. <laughs> That is to be determined. We'll find out on the boat ride back I mean, in if we, if we and pull a little topper on there. So that's your there. secret right yeah. there is the fresca. Yep, a little topper fresca gives it a little fizz right there. Salute. Salute. The good life. Mm. The good life. Nice thing about this place, it feels like you're on an island. It feels like you're on an episode of Gilligan's Island, doesn't right. it, kind of? Yeah, a bit? but I'm I'm a Marianne person. So. <laughs> There ain't no Mary Ann's here. I just There's stopped. no Mary Ann's, man. Hey, time to cook. Time to make some calamari and ceviche beachside. Hey, watch where you point that thing, bro. Separate that from the shell. Just like that. Oyster. Yep, very much like that. They're all pretty much connected the same. That's on the yeah. That's on the So this part right here. That's the eater. So generally what we do is we'll save like, you can save this. Oops, I'm sorry. Throw my drink. You can save this lip part, the outer lip uh -huh. right there. Yeah, you can dice it up and use it in your chowders or mince it. And that's the foot. So ironically, this is an aphrodisiac. Don't ask me why. I'm not. <laughs> Alright, you throw away the dark tip. Yep. And we may after you So clean you circumcise, it, you gotta circumcise it first. And you cut the dark tip, it's got moss on it anyway. So this is probably pretty much and then this is how far you wanna go. Then what you wanna do is dip it in the warm water and the skin will the separate. separate the skin right here will start membrane. separating. Will come off and it'll be a, a little white it'll piece. It'll peel right up. So right? it's gonna be a clean white piece of meat. Yep. Is it going to be a lot like calamari? Is it hollow yes. in the middle? Yes. yes. So when we cut tubes. it, we can cut it like rings. Yeah. yeah. So there's two tubes in there. So that's the goal is to make basically calamari, quote unquote, out of horse neck clams today. And we got already got some, uh, not marinara sauce, but we got spaghetti sauce, which is close enough. We got lemon. I'm going to let that water get hot and then I'll dip this in there for like 30 seconds. Nice. And then it's because you don't want to cook it. Yeah. So yeah, like this stuff, that's you can good keep, chowder. but it's all chowder stuff. That's for clam chowder. Yeah, yeah I like this part. The yeah, that's what yeah. this Where is. are the guts at? What are you getting rid of? Let me see the middle. That's the guts right So there. go ahead and finish that one and you get a good, a good uh, look at what he's cutting away and then we'll kind of... And it's only, it's only being held on by two spots, right? Yes. One right there on that side. Yeah. So the lips are kind of attached right on the edge of the clam. Uh -huh. That pretty much is. And then that's the foot. That holds the whole innards into the shell yeah that white bright white meat which you, you can, can eat. eat the white meat yeah. oh yeah it's a little tough is it? but you what you save that for again is for like chowder and something like that right so the only part that you can eat in the gut area besides this part for the chowder you usually use for us for chowder it's the dull tongue piece right here and you call it a tongue piece i'm not sure what technically do you even know where his freaking head is versus his like where, where is he what is this thing? Uh, what I couldn't tell you. What is that, dude? That, I think, is what you were talking about earlier. That's the penis? The, well, that's looking more like a vagina to me. But dude, look right there, bro. Look, Greg. Look. Show him. That's not a vagina, bro. That's a penis. It's 
with the penis. So this is this, this is and this isn't the penis. It's the neck. I know it's not the penis. It's the neck, Just right? So you know. I mean, it looks like a penis, but it's not. It's a neck. It's a very awkward thing to to really if you're if you're just not comfortable in your own skin you just don't even come out here and dig for these guys <laughs> if you're <laughs> am i right am i right am i right if you're like Yo, if you're, you're homophobe or like you just just stuff like this is just weird to you i'm just gonna save you a trip just don't come down but if you can get past <laughs> right, right if you can get past the yep the, the phallic looking the phallic looking seriously like you can't get closer than this to being more real but anyway if you can get past it, you're good to go. You're going to have a good time. Not yet. It's not quite hot enough. We'll let him sit in there for about a minute or so. So when you stick the rod down there in the hole? Yeah. And when they start retracting in, this is what happens when you push that rod too yeah, hard. So what you want to do is push the rod in just barely where you can feel it firm. Yeah, just barely tap it yeah. and follow it down. Don't force it. All right, we're trying to blanch it. This way it gets, uh, the skin comes right off and separates. So it's splitting right at the seam. There you go. Much better. So you want the water to be to boil. This way you just kind of stick it in there for a few seconds and it separates nicely. If not, you're fine with it. There it is. Doesn't look any less of a penis than it did before. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna chop it up. Make some calamari out of it. There you go. Let an expert show you how to do this. What an expert you are. Look at me. Wow. I guess you can say we're living La Vida Loca. And even though I'm not in Texas, this is still a jungle in a different kind of a way. It's like a little piece of paradise right here. Yep. People hate California. So before you start hating on California, you I'm just going to tell California you. For their politics, I even hate California all right, for so, so the laws, restriction, politics, all that, the gun laws, all that, I, all that stuff, we, all we don't like, we all hate it. Even these guys right here, look. California has the same kind of heart as people here that have the same heart as Texans. I'm gonna Absolutely. tell you right now. They love the outdoors, they love their guns, they love this First Amendment, Second Amendment, they love their country, Amen. right? And, and they love being outdoors and love doing this, so don't be so quick to judge and, and be so quick to be discriminating before you get to meet people like Brandon, and Greg, Vato, <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, before you start doing that, come over here, man. Enjoy this. Get to meet some, some good people that love the outdoors just like we do, just like Texans do. And have yourself some horse neck. So when Brand cleans them up like that, right, he's going to get, this is all chowder meat here. All these trimmings. It's just good for grinding chowder meat. That's all for chowder. Yeah, that makes a great chowder. So what I usually do, I'll split it and lay it out, open it up, and then I'll take the take the, uh, the, ha the hammer to it, tenderize and soft it, it tenderize enough. It. Yeah. yeah. And there so go. now so it's now gonna open. I would, we can cut it. We can either tenderize it. The tenderize. So generally, when you look at this tube, right, that we're that we're playing with here, when it's in the no, sand, we're, with it. we're, we're trying to eat. <laughs> you seen how deep we dug them, right? right? So this tube extends. His body's like right here. It comes out. And this tube will extend, extend, like extend. All right, so you're beating it. What is it, what is it doing? It's flexing even harder. Yeah. So as he starts hitting, it's going to, it wants to shrink up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Look, look at that. that. Look at that muscle retract. Oh, my mm. goodness. So you know it's going to be tough if you yes. just so that one drive in. Mm. Fresh. Oh, that's good. That's way good, huh? Bam. Bam. Not even lemon on it. Nope. Man. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Okay, Chef Tell. Okay. Right here. Okay. 
All right. It's you. It's all tenderized. We got the ceviche ingredients. Let's do it. It's going to be beautiful. Let's do it. Here we go. Anything harvesting the wild, cooking in the wild, that's just that's my passion. That's just what I love to do. So I can go ahead and put it in here and soak it in here with the lemon. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze. I'm just going to let this lemon really soak in here. It's a very juicy lemon. It's going to cook it. The citrus is actually going to cook. And any bacteria, anything like that, it's going to kill it. It can't live. Bacteria can't live in this acidity. So go ahead. I think I could eat it like that. Oh, dude. I mean, look. That's delicious. It's got a little chew to it. But the lemon, if you let it soak a little bit, if you have any concerns, is actually going to cook it out. That's good right there. So we'll let that soak a little bit. I'm also going to let the sun cure it a little bit as well in the wind. We're going to lay it open in between the, the lemon, the sun, and the wind. It's actually going to get cooked. Just like you get burnt, sunburnt or wind burned, it's going to get a natural cook on it. And then the lemon's going to soak in there. Let that cure a little bit, have another cocktail, and enjoy this day. And we'll be right back with you. Don't go anywhere. So we're in the process of making ceviche, but I think we're the problem is it might be is, gone by then. It might be gone by then because it tastes so good with the lemon, a little wasabi, wasabi and cocktail sauce. It's just like you already started the pico right here. With we started the pico, so we're we're really close to completing a step. So there we go. Clams going into the bowl with uh, tomatoes, cilantro, onions, uh, some jalapeno, jalapeno pepper. Jalapeno. We still got to cut a little. Uh, avocado? No, avocado and uh, there's uh, another extra jalapeno pepper. Oh my goodness, come it. on now. This should probably be enough. Throw this in here, a little bit more. You're asking how much lemon. There's no limit. No, there's no, there's no limit. Look at that. Let's get some avocado in here. There we go. Let's do that. Let's get, let's get serious. Hey, don't cut your hand open. Yeah. Good is, thing you're a chef. That knife is pretty sharp. <laughs> Stop it. Man. Stop it. Somebody slap Stop me. <laughs> Please. There she is. I don't think you're a ceviche. Ready to go. Well, we're ready to eat. I guess, I guess I'll take a, the first bite this way on camera. Let's try it out. I'll be the guinea pig. That's no guinea pig. I'll be the guinea pig. Hey, throw it to the cameraman right here. What do you think? Dude. So good, man. So good. Your turn. All right. Just out of control, bro. Give me the sticks. Give out me the of sticks. control. Out of control. Wow. Oh, look it. I can't, I can't help it. That's a big bite right there. Here, you can throw some of that on there. Dude. Well, now you're learning. Come on, now. Tell somebody something. <laughs> oh. Dude. You guys get to start to fry in that <laughs> other stuff. Dude, yep. take another bite and put hot sauce on it. Let's don't see e that. Hey, don't yell at me. Throw some hot sauce on Let's there. see that right there. Don't get scared. Dude. Don't be scared. Is this even legal? I want to say there's a law against this. There might be. Out. California. Yeah, everybody take a look around because I'm going in. <laughs> this has got to be illegal, dude, because this is too much fun. It is way too much this fun. Is, this is too good. All right, let Brandon This try. is he's living. Been, he's been working. Put a little soy on it. Working for the last two days trying to make this trip happen. Or a week. Let me see that soy. I'll help you out here. Did you put some? Uh, did you put some oh. of that stuff on there? Hot sauce for him? No, no, he ain't a hot sauce guy. Oh, he's not a hot sauce whoa, guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. You got it. I got you. Mm -hmm. You like that, don't you? <laughs> Daddy likes you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's good. That is good that's right for, there. That's for real. I'm gonna tell you right now. Appetizer success. I, I mean, I imagined it being that way. It was in my head. 
but I don't think I, I imagine just how good it is, man. It's just out of control. Out of control. And this is the stuff that usually people throw away. We're using scraps right now, and look at this. This is scraps. This is scraps for a lot of for a lot of horse neckers. So so we put a little bit of the wasabi on there. Let me uh, let me get some of this guy right here. You know what? Do him do him good. Put a lot of wasabi on there. No, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Ooh, oh man. man! Double kill right there. Look at this guy. Mmm. Don't get better. Salt life. Salt life for sure. Salt life. This is amazing. Just caught. Never frozen. Fresh. Came from right there. We got fresh freaking clams and fish and anything we want at our fingertips right here. Alright, just cut the camera, man. Just cut. I'm gonna tell you right now, the best ceviche I've ever had. I've had good ceviche with fish usually it's with fish i've never had ceviche with horse neck clams i'm gonna tell you right now if this is something that's not even on youtube and no one's ever made ceviche out of horse neck clams you're not living so so i wanted it at least an, an inch deep i prefer three inches 300 350 is is nice if you go over 350 you tend to burn the oil let's put uh let's put seasoned salt and old bay in there in the flour itself we don't have to you know at the end what we can do is we can dust it lightly with some of the old bay but you want the seasoning in the flour I think we're good with that i don't even know if we need to cut it honestly some of it we might want to cut but it's pretty much calamari size hey man let me see that real quick though There, oh. that little bit. Man, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, it's almost doing what the ceviche was doing. Marinating, penetrating, tenderizing, awesomeizing, and just making it what it needs to be. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this. Oh really? Like that? Yes. I was thinking it would be no. The actual dust no. and you dust it. See? Okay. You're gonna okay. learn a little okay. something. Okay, here, okay, 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 okay. Am I pouring that in there? Putting this in there? Uh, eventually, eventually, yeah. Eventually. Okay, yeah. Right. okay, okay, okay. So check it out. Oh. But you can't be shy. Listen, you can't be shy. An artist is not shy on the canvas. Don't be shy. Paint a picture the way you would want to paint it. Who cares what everybody thinks? Oh. Okay, Chef Josh, but that that looks like it might hurt me. No, that's you. I mean, 375, perfect. Look. Okay, so let's. let's how do How do you know it's good? Look here. Look here. Look in here. I know it's good. Saw it? I did see that. I know you're in good shape. All right, all right. Here we go. See that? Not with the beer, right? You don't want the juice. You don't want more liquid, right? Yeah. You can pour it all yeah. in there. All right. Pour Check this out with the beer. Hold on. You know, we've done, this, we've done this a time or two, uh, but okay, I do, okay, I do, you know okay, what? Okay. We have not done it with a jalapeno pepper in the batter. Okay. So, it's gonna give I don't want to cross any boundaries but over here. Gonna, I don't, don't want to cross gonna, my boundaries. I'm a guess it, over here. It, it should, I'm a guess. Well, it should infuse that batter with a little bit of that uh, heat. So, uh, I'm down for that, for sure. Go right here, Cap. There you go. All right. Give me a favor, chop up that lemon. Where'd that knife go? It's right here. We're dropping finally. That oh, oil's already dark. We're better fried anything. Oh, just do a. Oh. Just do a wedge. Perfect. Squeeze some right there. Don't yell at me. How can we so demanding? <laughs> I thought we were friends. You know, demanding, <laughs> screaming at me. Oh man. Look at here. Look out, look out. I'm getting in, I'm going in. Oh, dude. No, Brandon has some of that. He needs that in his life. Put a lemon on there, bro. It's like having Italian. It's terrible. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Don't come on. Oh, what happened? Where'd it go?
Yeah, so the oil got a little hot. It's one thing you gotta watch out when you do a really shallow oil. It'll burn quick. Turn it way down, man. Way down. Okay. Like super barely on. So what you want is 350, 375 max. Mm -hmm. Anything above that starts burning. You don't really get a... Just, and it won't cook through. It won't cook through, yeah. It'll burn the outside. So what do we got left? Where's our meats? This cocktail. So. That's yours, bro. The full one's yours. Mine's empty. I would so bad. Yeah, we've been empty for a while. We've kind of been feeling neglected by the bartender. What? No, he's been working. Oh, well, you're right. He hasn't been working. He's bigger now. That's so what you say. He is bigger. Where's the rest of the meats? In here? No. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, Look at you, I love it. Somebody say something. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Look at this, watch this. Watch this, it's like an egg roll. Look. I'm trying to film myself, bro. I'm like, it's a disaster right here. Oh, you. Hey, you go ahead, man. You eat. I got it. Mm. Thank you. Dude, I just ate a calamari, dude. I just ate a calamari just now. You didn't eat a calamari. You a ah, horse neck. We made a poor man's calamari right here on a beach. Look at this. Look at this thing, right? Oh, it's going to fall. Grab you some of that. Tell me what's next. Not half bad, huh? It's worth it. <laughs> oh, hey, just winging it. On the California coast. That's it. We made ceviche. We made calamari, or I don't know what you want to call it. Well, horse right, neck beer, calamari, beer, horse beer neck battered, beer battered horse neck. horse neck. You know, whatever you want to call it. That's what I want to call it. It's amazing. I want to call it good. Mm. Dude. Look, man. Just look right here. The secret is, though, you gotta have a really good uh, temperature on a fryer. We're at 300, between 300 and 350, and it's very happy. 350 is like the really happy place. Oh, dude. Y'all go outdoors, I don't care where you are. Texas, California, Florida, Georgia, it doesn't matter, go outside. There's good people. New York, good fun, New York, good, good eating. right? Anyway, yeah, anyway New, yeah. it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. There are people just like us in every no, single everywhere state. everywhere I travel a little bit and- uh, Am I right or wrong? Yep, you run into good people good everywhere. People that share the exact same mindset. passion and mindset and respect and love for yep. people and the outdoors. And for food, I mean, dude, this is why I travel, is, is the com camaraderie, like the friends, the food, taste of the land. You don't really know a people and you don't know a land until you eat with them, right? That's and true. And you share the culture. No, no, absolutely. This is y'all's culture, man. Yeah. This is yours and well, brother's culture, Well, this is California. Culture, I mean, we, someone introduced me this to me. Right. This clammy and you, and thing. And you, you shared it with and me. And then I told Brandon about it. Right. And brought him into the fold. And then Brandon brought me and into it. And then we brought you into the fold. Yep. And and I think everybody should have an experience oh, of you know of of the world, right? I mean there's a hundred percent. There's just something. The food, you know, and what we do, what we do for recreation. Right. And what we do for fun. This is our enjoyment and this is what we like to do. Mm. And we're not afraid to share it with others, right? So nope. And this is what I pass on to my audience, to my kids, and to some people that I've never experienced, never had a dad to do this with, or never had, you know, a role model or anybody to take them under the wing and do something like this. If you don't share it, you're not getting the full potential right. of what it really means. No.
and you're not giving your full potential so. until you share it right share it out share it out share it out you know people appreciate it we do we do know we're willing to learn all right we gotta go we gotta make another drink <laughs> the moral of this story is we can learn a lot from each other different cultures different nations different foods different areas don't be so closed-minded i learn a lot just from traveling and eating all these different even sometimes bizarre foods but there's nothing like the bond the relationship the friendship and the culture that we share with each other thank you for joining me this is all i have for you for today i appreciate you being part of texas jungle and part of my life and i'm always always glad to bring you new adventures new foods and new experiences right here in Texas jungle beyond borders.